revitalizing, re-energizing the Milestone universe, but we're also adding a lot of new characters as well, new ideas. Another bombshell you guys dropped, uh, you're relaunching Milestone Media yes. in 2018. Right. Yeah, so uh, uh, basically, you know, Milestone has reformed, uh, you know, Dennis Cowan and Derek Dingle and uh, been joined by a filmmaker, Reginald Hudlin. He's also a comic book fan and writer. He worked on Black Panther for yeah. Marvel. Uh, I've known Reggie since like 1992, so something like that, like 25 years. And uh, we had been talking for years about bringing back uh, the Milestone line. We feel it's very important, not just for, um, you know, our lineup, but just for, for diversity's sake. I mean, if you look at the industry, uh, one of the big ongoing uh, dialogues is the lack of diversity in both the, uh, the characters and the talent that create the comics. And so it's been one of our priorities in recent years. Uh, we've done a number of things, and this is part of that whole program, really. Um, Revitalizing, re-energizing the Milestone universe, but we're also adding a lot of new characters as well, new ideas and we're bringing in new creators that hadn't worked on Milestone before, and we're calling all that Earth-M. So Earth-M is a, a new universe that has existing Milestone characters that are kind of retooled or reimagined in it, and then a lot of new characters like Duo and Love Army. All of it really is spearheaded by Dennis and, and Reggie. They're the creative uh, sort of directors of all this, and, and we kind of work with them to make sure that we get the best possible people to help uh, realize the vision that they have for the line. Is, is it kind of like a young animal in a way that it's an imprint that you're kind of yeah, letting yeah, them handle Yeah, it? yeah, so I mean, a, a recent strategy in years uh, is expanding the line through kind of pop-up imprints that are really spearheaded by one person's passion or creativity. So with a young animal, it was Gerard Way that came in and said, hey, I want to do some books for you guys. I don't want to do Superman or Batman. I want to do something more esoteric, eclectic, different. And he glommed on to Doom Patrol and then looked through literally a catalog of our other obscure characters and found characters like Cave Carson and, and, and Shade the Changing Girl. And uh, so when we did Hanna-Barbera, that's because Dan and I shared a passion for those properties and said, hey, we can do something really cool with this. And uh, with Wildstorm, it was really signing Warren Ellis. I, we, we really kind of let Wildstorm sit for a while after we used them in the new 52. Yeah. And I knew that we needed to have a really strong creative lead on that. And when Warren basically said, okay, I'll do it, then that was like, all right, let's do it. Let's put all our resources and support yeah, behind it. Dennis him. and Reggie. Yeah, yeah. And so when, when Dennis and Reggie came uh, uh, came on board, like we knew that we had something. And what we love about these uh, pop-up imprints is it allows us to diversify our line, bring in new voices to the company, uh, and it allows us to best sort of market and sell those individual pop-up imprints because they're identified by not only uh, a brand, but usually one or two key creative people along with all the characters, of course.